Yo, what is up everyone? It's Diggy here, and today I'm back on Sony Vegas to show you guys how to make an AE slide transition. So, this is very easy and not that complicated from what people think it is. So first, you're going to want to get your clip. You're going to want to find it. So I'm going to make it on just the recording I did. So there it is. Let's see how long it is. So it's decently long, so I'm going to shorten it up a little. Delete that. Then delete that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to Cookie Cutter, which is not in a add-on. So Cookie Cutter. I have presets for this, so for this one, you're going to want to go right here, and I'll show you guys my bottom preset. So this is the bottom preset, you're going to want to have repeat X on 5, repeat Y on 1, size 2.85, center 0.500, and then 0.265, so that's for the bottom one, and then you want to have border on 0, and then you can save this as a preset from typing it in and pressing this save button. So this is going to be the bottom one, so make sure to, to label it as bottom. So after you have that, you want to do slash, or copy, I mean. So you want to copy it, whatever, or you want to copy it. Let's just delete this. Uh, delete track. Video track. So you're going to want to paste it on top of it. But you're going to want to delete this one, this cookie cutter, because that's from this clip down here. So you're going to want to delete it. And then you're going to want to edit against this top one. And then I'll show you guys my top. So my top is exactly the same as the last one. But in, for the center, I have 0.500 and then 0.765. So 0.765. And once you have that, you're done with this side. So then when you have that done, I guess I'm not going to use this clip because then it'll look exactly the same. So I'm just going to take part of my intro, you delete that, and then I'll just take my intro. So you're going to want to make sure there's no borders on it. So I'll just take this, split, and then when it stops, I guess, split it. I'm just going to make this so then it doesn't move, so go to I'm going to go to velocity and then put it at zero, so it doesn't move. Okay, there we go. So this is technically your second clip, so you're going to want to do the exact same as you did to the other clip. Put it to your bottom preset if you don't have it. And then, oh I forgot, if it does have a black border, you're going to want to change that, so you go to properties, disable resample, and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Then you're going to want to crop out the, the black bars. So crop it out. And crop it out. Okay, so there's no black bars. Now it'll look a lot better. So you have that on the bottom. You want to copy it and paste. Make sure to delete the cookie cutter that has it on already. Delete it. Add it again. Then put it to your top preset if you have it so there you go we got these two done so now here comes the animating or the sliding effect so you want to go to blur mo curves I have an editing default but put that on this top one so you're gonna want to just do this you're gonna put the wrap X to reflect and you can do the Y if you want but it doesn't do anything so shift X you're gonna animate it or press the clock and at the end of your clip you're gonna want to put it to 0.5 and then you can either go away or actually no for shutter duration I forgot this but shutter duration you want to start at the end with 250 and then for how far you want it to go or how long you should go I normally do 7 or 10 frames so I'm gonna do just 7 for this tutorial so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 I'm gonna put it back down to zero and then up to one the shutter duration up to one then you're gonna want to go right here and the one that's farthest to the left you're gonna want to put it down to slow and then the one that's at the end of the clip put it up to fast so it has a little hesitation 
So that was the top one. So now we're going to do the bottom layer. So the bottom layer is going to be mostly the same, but the shift X is going to be a negative. So negative 0.5. And then the same thing with shutter duration, that the point 250, and then go out seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put this to zero. Put this to one. And then you want to do the same. You want to do the one farthest to the left, slow. Farthest one to the right, which is the end. Put it to fast. Fast, yes. Okay. Now we'll do the other side. So this part with my intro. So this, since this one right here was a positive, you're going to make the one across from it a negative. So shift x, 0.5, or no, negative 0.5. And then you want to do the shutter duration to 0.250, and then go over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put that down to 0, and then put that to 1. Then you gotta do the same thing with these, so the farthest one to the left now, put that to fast, farthest one to the right, put that to slow. And now for this one right here, the bottom one under it, you're gonna do the same, but this one have a positive since the other one was a negative. So do that, so positive 0.5, and then 0.25, or 250 for the shutter duration. And then we go over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put that down to 0. And put that to 1. And then do the same for down here. The farthest one to the left, put it to fast. The farthest one to the right, put it to slow. So that is it. So now if we would look at it. That's how you make it. So yeah, that's basically how you make it. And if you want to put some blur to it, that'll be totally fine. I mean, I guess to blur up the lines, just in case, if you want it to be cleaner. Well, you guys can add whatever effects you want to it. So yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be doing these tutorials a lot more often. But this is going to be my schedule. So I'm going to make an editing tutorial, then a gaming video, editing tutorial, and a gaming video. So it's basically going to be like an Instagram theme, but for YouTube. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this edit tutorial, then whatever, like, comment, and then if you guys want me to do more of these, then yeah, just either comment on my latest post, or just hit me up on Instagram and tell me what you guys want to see from me for edit tutorials. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.